Hello, I'm Greg Lamb with the Sleater Group. This is part two of my review of Cashew. In this video, I'll talk about banking, payroll, reports, getting data in and out, sales taxes, accounting tools, mobile apps, support, and finally present my overall opinion of Cashew. Let's start off with banking. To start a reconciliation, you choose an account and then a statement date. In Cashew, you can import bank transactions by automatic bank feed or via a file. Cashew supports all the major formats like QBO, QFX, OFX, and CSV. You'll have no issue getting your bank transactions into Cashew. Cashew's banking page acts as both a categorization page and a reconciliation page. This example already has bank transactions imported. So now we're on the step of having to either enter them as new transactions or match them to already entered transactions. In Cashew, all the imported transactions show up on the top. And if we scroll down, we'll see all the transactions entered into Cashew. Ideally, we'll want these two sets of transactions to match. If Cashew finds a match between them, it'll suggest it, and you can accept it by hitting the check mark. If you need to drill down into the suggested match, it's as easy as clicking on it. I like how it's quite simple to dig into transactions to see the details. Adding transactions is also simple. You click on the Add checkbox and fill in the details. Something that gets lost in this simplicity is that you can't add multiple line items. However, if you click on a transaction after adding it, you are then brought to a page where you can enter more details. So once you go through all the transactions, adding and matching them, you can save the reconciliation and that's about it. I like how Cashew shows the balance of the account after each transaction. Not many accounting software do this. Using this reconciliation for a limited number of transactions a month is straightforward but there are a few elements that are missing that make it not as great to deal with when you have to deal with many transactions in a month, like a hundred or more. First off, the data isn't sortable by the column header, so I can't sort by the description or by the amount. Everything is sorted by date. If you've seen Xero's cache code and ability, you understand how valuable it is not only to be able to sort the data, but also to manipulate many transactions at once. Using Cashew, you can't do batch actions. You also can't match payments to invoices or bills. Probably the biggest thing missing is that there is no automatic categorization of transactions. Most other online accounting software try to auto-suggest entries to cut down on data entry time. There's nothing of the sort with Cashew. Overall, the bank and page in Cashew works, but it's just not as powerful as it could be. Now on to payroll. Cashew has payroll add-ons for the United States through Paychex and in Canada through Payment Evolution and Simple Pay. This is obviously not as nice as a direct integration, but if you do have payroll needs, there are add-ons to help you out. Now on to reports. What you see here is what you get. There's all the basics like the profit and loss and balance sheet, but not a lot in the way of performance reports. The profit and loss report does have a tiny bit of control in that you can filter data by different variables, but otherwise there's not much flexibility to the reports. If you want to slice and dice the numbers, you'll have to export the data to an Excel or CSV file. All reports can be exported to Excel, CSV, HTML, and PDF, by the way. Something that is nice to see in Cashew is that it has an activity report, which acts as an audit trail. If a transaction is deleted, this can also act as a way to restore a transaction. Okay, let's go on over to the setup section. For starters, there's the data import menu item. The four types of data you can import are customers, vendors, a trial balance, and bank transactions. There is an API to get data in and out, but it's not as well documented and supported as bigger companies like Xero, QuickBooks Online, or Zoho Books, so I don't think it'd be that useful to everyday users. In terms of getting data out, Cashew has a good set of options. The best being is that if you go to the business profile page, you can export all your data in one click. The only thing missing from this one click export is a general ledger report, but you can get that from the transactions report. And again, all reports in Cashew can be exported. So getting your data out is very easy in Cashew, which I appreciate. Now on to the taxes page. I like that Cashew has a dedicated sales tax page. Here you can add taxes, create shortcut codes for modified forms of taxes, and file your taxes. After filing many a tax return through this system, I find it's not as good as it could be. For example, QuickBooks Online does a better job with their sales tax page as it has a form for making adjustments as well as the ability to track payments. But Cashew's taxes are very flexible in that you can create custom codes, combine taxes, and create multiple sales tax receivable and payable accounts. However, you have to be careful when using the taxes 
as it has its peculiarities, so it's powerful, but just make sure you set it up right. Let's briefly talk about accountant tools. Cashew has an accountant program called MVP, but there's no accountant specific tools that come with it. However, in comparison to other micro business accountant software, there are a lot of basic accountant tools that are built into Cashew, such as the activity log. Cashew has strong iOS apps for the iPad and iPhone. They are the most full featured apps out there in that most of what you can do in the web app, you can do in the mobile app. The biggest missing feature is no bank reconciliation in the mobile app. Something that the mobile app does allow though is the ability to capture images for income and expense transactions. While you can view those images on the web app, you can't manipulate them or add to them. There's no file attachment capability with the web app. If you're one of those people who live on their iOS devices, Cashew's apps for the iPad and iPhone are attractive options. The last thing I should mention is the help. If you click on help, you'll be taken to the support site. This is a combination of user forums and official articles. I would really like if the search were able to only bring up official articles, as right now it shows too many user forum results and there's no way to filter this. What's a bit unique about Cashew is that you can get support by live chat, email, user forums, phone, and social media. Not many companies are available via so many methods. Okay, so what do I think of Cashew in general? As a data entry tool, it's probably my favorite web app. The navigation is simple, the forms are easy, and most everything can be accessed in a click or two. The way it's structured, by allowing the use of any account type in account fields and having a strong set of sales tax options, make it flexible for a variety of uses. The fact that it doesn't have a hundred different forms for entering income and expenses is also a big plus. Out of all the software I review, I think it's the easiest to pick up and learn, so it'd be great for micro businesses and those new to accounting software. I also think that accountants and bookkeepers will appreciate it since there's not a big learning curve to it. I think given a couple hours, most accountants and bookkeepers would be able to be quite proficient with the software. On the other hand, Cashew's simplicity, which is a definite plus, is also what's negative about it. Cashew doesn't have much in the ways of automation, and the fact that it doesn't have online invoicing and payments is very noticeable since most online accountant software I review has this capability. There's also no inventory, no ability to add attachments in the web app, and there's no add-ons beyond payroll. So I think there's this trade-off with Cashew that largely rests around the number of transactions you need to process. If you only have a few transactions a month and are a simple business, Cashew works out really nice. Once you start getting above 50 transactions a month, other more automated solutions start to become more attractive choices. For a detailed analysis of Cashew, please check out my ebook called Online Accountant Software, Finding the Right Match. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to the Sleater Group YouTube channel. I'm Greg Lamb with the Slater Group, and I'll catch you on the flip side.